Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Chrome Hearts 30 inch paper chain necklace that I proxied from Rincon using Zen Market. But before I get into this unboxing video, I've actually got to do something else first. <laughs> I've got to, for the second video in a row, thank you guys once again for the continuous support. You keep doing it. I, there's, there's no breather, you know? It's just one video after the other. <laughs> so in the, in the previous video, we hit the subscriber milestone of 3,355 subscribers. I thanked you then asking if we could hit the new subscriber milestone of 3,360 subs before the end of the month. Thinking, you know, yeah, it'll be like, you know, maybe next week we'll hit it, something like that. <laughs> you guys came in and smashed it out of the park. Before the end of the week again, you guys helped the channel reach another subscriber milestone of 3,360 subs. So I have to come out now and say thank you to the public and private subscribers for subscribing to the channel. And you know, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for the support regardless. Uh, yeah, wow, 3,360. <laughs> it's crazy, you guys are just too crazy. So yeah, I mean, we've hit 3,360. I'm going to have to set a new subscriber milestone. Let's see if we can go for 3365. We're pretty close to that already. So I feel like in the next video, I'm not even going to have a breather. You guys are just going to come in again. <laughs> we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. So yes, I'll set the subscriber uh, milestone to 3365. Let's see if we can hit that before the end of June. Okay, now I can actually get into unboxing this. <laughs> so yeah, in a, in a previous video guys, in a pickups video, I discussed five Chrome Hearts pieces that I was looking to pick up in the future. And in that video, I expressed that one of the pieces that I mentioned in that video, I had recently just picked up, like in the past 12 to 24 hours. And uh, I still felt like it needed to be included in that video because I wrote that video up before copying this piece but yes quite obviously the piece that i picked up was the 30 inch paper chain necklace and i dived into it in that video i said i wanted to get the 30 inch one because uh it came in various different sizes the 18 inch would have been too small because this alix studios chain that i'm rocking is 19 inches when it's fully buckled up so 18 would be like choking me be like up here uh, I didn't want 20 because 20 was just going to come down to like here, 22, 24. It wasn't going to be the length that I wanted. Now, the 30 inch one, I measured out with a measuring tape that it was going to come out to probably around about the center of my chest. Now, I've seen 30 inch paper chain necklaces on other people and they do droop a little bit lower. It really just depends on, I guess how your shoulder structure is. And with me, 30 inches is actually a lot shorter than I saw on the photos of people rocking the 30 inch chain. And it's the exact same scenario for this Alix Studios necklace when I picked it up. Because all the videos and all the uh, photos that I saw of people rocking this necklace, it was like dangling down here. But obviously, well, it's not really the case with me. <laughs> so yeah, I measured it out and said, I need to get the 30 inch one. And what a struggle that was. The 30 inch necklace kept evading me. Um, it, it like the 24s kept coming up, the 20s kept coming up, but the, whenever the 30 inches came up, they kept selling out. And luckily, oh, it was stressful was on a Sunday, a 30 inch one had propped up on Rincon and I was like, this is my time, I'm picking it up. So I sent the order in to Zen Market to pick it up and it, they didn't pick it up as quickly as they normally did. I don't know what was going on. I was like, what? Normally when you put something into Zen Market, they buy it within half an hour. They bought this in six hours. So it was just sitting there for six hours and I kept like refreshing the page every hour. I was like, oh no, it's gonna sell out. It's gonna sell out. <laughs> 
being like, no, I'm going to miss out on the 30 inch chain because they only come up every like two weeks on Rinkin uh, as of late. And then I refreshed the page, saw that it sold out and I was defeated. I was like, oh no, it's gone. But at the same time of me refreshing the page and seeing that it sold out, I got an email from Zen Market saying, we bought it for you. And I was like, oh my God, thank God. Because <laughs> since picking this one up, I have not seen another 30 inch one appear on Rinkin. It hasn't come up. So very, very happy to finally have it. I don't have to go through that hassle again of trying to get a 30 inch one. It's ridiculous. So now that you've got the whole backstory on the effort that I had to finally go through to pick this bad boy up, let's get into unboxing it and see how it looks and fits on body. Okay, I've got my trusty kitchen scissors. Let's get into it. <laughs> hey, as I mentioned in the recent Supreme Week where they had that um, that knife, wouldn't mind it to, uh, to just do some unboxing videos, honestly. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll have to get some like streetwear brand or... Oh, wait, does... Chrome Hearts doesn't do knives, do they? No, that's dumb. I'm not gonna get Chrome Hearts knife. It would be like 10 bajillion dollars. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, maybe I should get something that's kind of themed or something like that. Who knows? So we'll get into this box. Um, I'm unsure if this one has a receipt or not. I think it did have a receipt, but Zen Market may have taken the receipt out. Normally they don't, but in my case, they might have because of uh, stuff I did in the settings. I think I asked them potentially to remove it. I can't remember, but we'll see. We'll, we'll get into that. So as we can see, here it is repackaged by Zen Market. We'll pull out this, that over there. Oh, geez, almost lost it there. Oh my God. Okay. Put that there, tap that there, empty box over there. Let's get into it. So here is the bag. There's many, many layers to it. Zen Market, I gotta say, their uh, packaging is always on point. They always layer it in multiple, multiple different layers of packaging just to make sure that your items are safe. Not that I buy anything that's too delicate, but even regardless, I think they, yeah, they put like handle with care stickers on it and stuff like that. So they really do make sure that you're looked after when it comes to their reshipping from Japan. So we'll get this opened up here. Okay. Let's get it out. Okay, got more packaging. We'll chuck that over there. So, here it is. It comes with, is it a Chrome Hearts official bag or is it just a normal bag? I will suss that out for us. It looks to be just a nice suede bag, not a Chrome Hearts official one as uh, Rinkin sells secondhand goods. They also do sell um, brand new stuff. And their brand new stuff, you will see that it comes with the bag, the receipt, everything like that. Uh, when you, well, in the photos of the items. But most of the items won't come with the Chrome Hearts official suede bag. Uh, or even receipt, because they're secondhand goods. But we'll get into it here. Okay. There it is there, but we'll get into that into a moment. I think, if I'm correct in saying it. Yeah, okay. Wow, this is the first time I've gotten a receipt for one. So here is a Japanese Chrome Hearts receipt. Not a, yeah, Chrome Hearts JP. I, I mean, I can't, I can read very little of this because I can see Chrome Hearts and then the rest is all in Japanese. <laughs> so here is the receipt I, uh, for it. I don't particularly understand. It looks like it was potentially bought on the 2nd of March, 2020. And there's a bunch of all the payment details, like the card number and everything have been blacked out. Um, the address, I mean, it, it, I'm assuming it was probably bought in store if there's no shipping details to it. And there is the original, uh, I guess, style code and price that they charged this person uh, for it. I obviously paid a little bit less than that because it's second hand, not paying that original retail price. But there we go. First time I've got a receipt for a Chrome Hearts piece and I'll probably just chuck it in this awesome little suede bag. I'm happy to say that there was a suede bag because sometimes when you buy Chrome Hearts second hand, they don't even give you just a generic second hand bag. So here we are here. Oh my God, look how long it is. <laughs> and there's more, more packaging we have to get it out of. So we'll get that out of it there. Okay, here we go. 
the 30 inch necklace. Now I don't know, oh, I'm gonna have to try and bring up the details to you as close as possible, but ah, it's gonna be so hard to showcase because these details are so minuscule and so tiny, but I guess I'll just thread it through my hand and bring it up to the screen as close as possible to see if you can pick up on it. There we go. That's probably as close as I can get for it to pick up on the details. So I don't know if you can see it, but every single loop on this paper chain necklace, I'll try and wrap it a few times around my hand and try and, ugh, and, try and bring it up as close as possible. So each individual little paper chain here has chrome hearts uh, in, dug out of it or embossed into it. So if I can, ah, it's gonna be really hard to showcase because the details on it is so, so small. I'll bring it as close as I can to the camera. Yeah, so as you can see, each individual little chain, or paper link I should say, has chrome hearts etched into it. The detail is crazy. The detail on this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'll also show you the uh, clasp, or yeah, that as well. Oh god, that detail is going to be really hard to show you as well. I'll bring it up to, there we are, so CH, we can see it there. 925, because the whole thing is sterling silver. And then the design was originally commissioned in 1999, which is my birth year. And th that's one of the reasons why I was drawn to it so much. So the reason that I was drawn to it was because I love the design. I remember as a kid making paper, cha well, paper chain necklaces. And this design was commissioned in my birth year. So I was like, man, like it's all these little things coming together. I have to pick it up. So... Yeah, I'll showcase it to you, I guess, on me now. I'll actually, I should probably, I'll put it down, take off the A leaks so you can kind of get an idea. Hopefully it goes down as low as I assumed it would, but we shall see. There it is there, put it over my head. And there we go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly where I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> that is, Oh, look at that. Just like just under the S for this Stussy sweater as well. There we go. I gotta say, I was worried because I thought these paper chains were going to be quite thick. I uh, looked at the measurements and I was like, I hope it's not like a really bulky chain, but it's not. Because I didn't want a super long chain that was also super bulky. I wanted something that was kind of sleek, kind of small. And it just, I mean, this ticks all the boxes. This is exactly what I wanted. Next up. Well, you guys, if you watch the uh, the pickups video, I think you know what I'm going to be going for next. <laughs> it might uh, might be hanging down on the bottom of this <laughs> if I can pick it up. But yeah, there it is. There, that is the exact length that I wanted. I don't think I'm going to have it out because that's a bit too like wrapper like. Like I, I don't think I'm going to have the whole chain out. I think I'm going to have it covered or at least under my sweater, but over the top of my shirt underneath. But yeah, this is the exact length that I wanted. I was also kind of worried because on the photos that Rinkin had put in uh, on their store page, uh, it looked a lot more tarnished. So I don't know if they cleaned it when they sent it over, but it does look a lot more cleaner than the photos first gave off. But I'll give you another showcasing of this uh, on hand. I'll try and wrap it around my hand as many times as I can, just to give you an idea. Oh no, it's probably better if I do it this way yeah so there we go again i'll try and showcase the details as best i can with the other chrome pieces that i have there is the paper chain necklace in the 30 inch length uh each of the links oh god i don't even know if i can if i can do this with one hand each of the links are around i think it's like half a centimeter in in width just to give you an idea, I'll see if they actually listed it on their website. Yeah, okay, it's exactly right with the measuring tape. There you go. So the width of each of these lengths, to give you an idea, is half a centimetre. And obviously the total length is uh, 70, uh, 76 centimetres, which I think comes out at exactly 30 inches, or pretty close to it at least. But there you go, guys. That is the Paper Chain Chrome Hearts Necklace in the 30 inch. Um, I will be... Very much looking for a pendant, a certain pendant that I may have mentioned in the previous pickups video <laughs> to go along with it. 
but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Are you a fan of shorter necklaces, longer necklaces? I'm a fan of shorter ones and a shorty shorter but bulkier and longer and thinner i think that's kind of the adage that i'm going with where if it's a long necklace i wanted a thin one if it's a short necklace i want it to be a bulky one like the a leaks one and i don't know if i'm gonna wear both i think where is wearing both excessive i think that's gonna get a little bit excessive isn't it doing both like this yeah i don't know it does look a little bit odd doesn't it yeah, well, we'll have to suss that out. I'll have to see how we go with that. <laughs> but let me know your thoughts and opinions on it, guys, down in that comment section below. Well, guys, yeah, that's it completely unboxed. Um, I'm very happy with how Zen Market uh, packaged it all up. They did stress me out a little bit with the time that it took for them to buy it, but hopefully that's not a reoccurring thing. I think it was just because this is probably the most expensive piece that I've bought using Zen Market before. And yeah maybe because of that price they you know take a while to buy it or something i don't know but i'm just, yeah i am very happy to have it in hand to have the 30 inch here uh, and also very happy that rinkin provided a little suede bag and the receipt for it as well um i wasn't actually expecting to get a suede bag and i was a little bit concerned on how i was going to store it but they've got me covered which is awesome um now that i've got this necklace Obviously, as I've alluded to a few times, I will be looking to get a pendant for it as well. The pendant that I'm most keen on is the large cross with the bail, because I need the bail for the chain to actually fit through um, that little area to, to hang it. So uh, there have been a couple of them that have propped up on Rinkin. They are way more common than the 30 inch chain itself. So it, there shouldn't be any dramas picking up that pendant besides money. Probably won't be buying it for a while. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely will be rocking the chain. Absolutely love it. Sterling silver. Be I, like, I love the detailing on each of the individual chains. And it's something that you can see very obviously up close. It was kind of hard to showcase it to you on the channel and showcase how it looks. Um, but uh, hopefully with some photos and stuff, I can showcase it as well. But yeah, it's, I, I would definitely recommend picking it up. It's an awesome chain. They do like various different chains. Chrome Hearts does do Cubans. I have seen some Cubans appear on Rinkin, but they are quite tight Cubans. So if you're a fan of longer Cubans, I don't know if Chrome Hearts will do them. You might have to actually go in store and ask them, but obviously I'm Australian, so I can't go in and ask them. They don't have a store in Australia. <laughs> So it's a bit of a bummer, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with this. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm, it, it just makes me want to get that uh, pendant even more though. <laughs> now that I've got one half, I just need the second half and then I'm set. But yeah, it's an awesome first Chrome Arts necklace. I would love to also now potentially get the matching bracelet, the uh, paper chain bracelets. So I have to keep my eyes out for those. Yeah, because um, they come in different lengths as well. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the chain, uh, on Chrome Hearts in general, or Rinkin, or Zen Market, anything that's been mentioned in this video, guys. Let me know down in that comment section below. And if you guys want me to do more Chrome Hearts content or unboxing videos on the channel, you just gotta give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, a subscribe to the channel. Now, as mentioned at the start of this video, we're aiming for a new subscriber milestone of 3360, as you guys, uh, well, sorry, no, 3365, because you guys already hit 3360. <laughs> so we're aiming for 3365. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of June. But that's all I gotta say about this necklace, guys. Super happy to finally have it in hand. I am going to be eyeing off those pendants that Rinkin gets in. I'm gonna be uh, saving up mainly to buy it. <laughs> Cause this set me back, but yeah, very happy to have it. Uh, awesome thing to add to the Chrome Hearts collection that I've got going on at the moment. Uh, I'll either go for the pendant potentially next or a star ring. Cause I have seen some star rings come up. So we just have to see. Stay tuned. We'll have to see how that goes. So until the next Chrome Hearts video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next unboxing video, guys, I'll catch you later.